The Book of the Damned, by Charles Hoyfort, Chapter 21b, A Deep Sea Fish, and its Adaptation to a Dense Medium, that, at least in some regions aloft, there is a medium dense even to gelatinousness, a deep sea fish, brought to the surface of the ocean. In a relatively attenuated medium, it disintegrates. Superconstructions adapted to a dense medium in interplanetary space, sometimes, by stresses of various kinds, they are driven into this Earth's thin atmosphere. Later we shall have data to support just this, that things entering this Earth's atmosphere disintegrate and shine with a light that is not the light of incandescence. Shine brilliantly, even if cold. Vast wheel-like super constructions, they enter this Earth's atmosphere, and, threatened with disintegration, plunge for relief into an ocean, or into a denser medium. Of course the requirements now facing us are, not only data of vast wheel-like super constructions that have relieved their distresses in the ocean, but data of enormous wheels that have been seen in the air, or entering the ocean, or rising from the ocean and continuing their voyages. Very largely we shall concern ourselves with enormous fiery objects that have either plunged into the ocean or risen from the ocean. Our acceptance is that, though disruption may intensify into incandescence, apart from disruption and its probable furiness, things that enter this Earth's atmosphere have a cold light which would not, like light from molten matter, be instantly quenched by water. Also it seems acceptable that a revolving wheel would, from a distance, look like a globe, that a revolving wheel, seen relatively close by, looks like a wheel in few aspects. The mergers of ball lightning and meteorites are not resistances to us. Our data are of enormous bodies. So we shall interpret, and what does it matter?